Welcome to First Ego League Discover. In First Ego League Discover, children are given meaningful problems to solve. They work together to wonder and question, build and tinker, listen and share. And by the end of their experience, children will emerge more confident and better equipped to face their future challenges. First Ego League Discover is a flexible programme which runs during the academic year. Registration opens in August and you have until the end of the summer term to complete it. The sooner you register, the more time you'll have, but when and how you run it is completely up to you. Once you've successfully registered, you will receive your kit from us here at the IET within two weeks. We'll send you a pre-programme evaluation to complete when you register and then another to complete after you've finished all of your sessions. This is really important to help us continually improve the program and track the impact it has on you as a facilitator but also on the children participating. So let's take a deeper look at this year's Masterpiece theme. This season puts the A in STEAM as children will learn about how people's passions for the arts are shared through STEM. Children will work together in teams of four to explore the theme and use Duplo pieces from the Masterpiece Discover sets and Lego Education STEAM parks. The Masterpiece Discover sets offer a fantastic idea starter for the children who will then build on this with their own designs. Now, let's explore the programme outcomes for First Ego League Discover. We have four main outcomes to be looking out for throughout this Masterpiece season. First, in the design process, we have Explore. Your masterminds will explore what they love to do with others. They will learn about where ideas are shared, who they're shared with, and the people making it happen behind the scenes. Next, they will create. The children will use their Discover sets to build the stage that can be used to host a music concert, a theatrical performance, or display an object in a museum. And they'll use their Steampark sets to build their own ideas. Last on the engineering design process is Share. The children will be sharing their ideas and builds at the end of every Discover session, and they'll participate in the celebration event at the end of the programme where you can invite families and friends to hear all about what the children have been learning and creating. So let's dive into the equipment you'll need this season. Firstly, you'll need a Discover set, which should be used between four children. The Discover set consists of the Discover model, which includes the stage, interchangeable backdrops, there's minifigures, the building instruction cards, and five sets of six bricks. The mat is used as a space for the team to come together to showcase their models and provide a space for discussions. And they can use the Discover model to begin exploring this masterpiece theme. The five sets of six bricks inside the Discover set are to use within the classroom during the warm-up six bricks activities. So there's one set for each child plus a spare set. Next, you'll need a Lego Education Steam Park set. Now we recommend a maximum of eight children per Steam Park set, as this just provides all students with an equal opportunity to engage with the various elements and really hone their STEM skills. Each reusable Steam Park set contains 295 Lego Duplo bricks, including gears, tracks, pulleys, boats and figures. This is what the children will be using every session to build their own ideas and creations. Steam Park builds on every child's natural curiosity and desire to create, explore and investigate the world of early STEM through creative play. Using the special selection of Lego Duplo bricks, children will grow their understanding of gears, motion, measurement and solving problems together in a fun and engaging way. And the best part about Steam Parks? They're not theme specific, so it can be used year after year after year. But that's not all. Each child should take home one Discover More set, which contains two sets of the six bricks, one for the child and one for an adult to use at home. This is designed for children to bring the fun learning from the classroom into the home and families to participate in activities together. You can find out more information about this on our family engagement page. Brand new this season is the Discover Trophy, which every child will receive at the end of the celebration event, along with a certificate that's available to print to celebrate their fantastic achievements throughout the programme. You'll also receive some Discover guides, a team meeting guide for the teacher or group leader, and an engineering notebook for each child. The team meeting guide is there to support the running of the programme 
and contains all the information that you'll need to get started. So what's in the team meeting guide exactly? Well, it's a book of comprehensive lesson plans which you can follow as closely or as loosely as you like. The engineering notebook is intended to provide a place for the children to record all their masterpiece ideas. There's one page to fill in every other session. They can record their ideas in a variety of ways, such as words, drawings, photos or collages. The possibilities are endless. So what do you say? Shall we have a look at the structure of First Lego League Discover? Let's get started. First Lego League Discover is made up of 10 sessions, with each session lasting an hour. Children will work together in a group of four, and each session will be focused on a different element of the masterpiece theme. The 10 sessions can be run as part of the curriculum within school, in home education settings, or out of school groups. The role of the teacher or group leader is to facilitate learning, lead and supervise the sessions, but most importantly, to ensure the children explore, build, and work together. First Lego League Discover is a child-led programme and the adult's role is to support their exploration and learning. The aim is for the children to develop valuable habits of learning, such as wondering and questioning, confidence and persistence working through the tasks, while also using the First Lego League core values, discovery, innovation, impact, inclusion, teamwork and fun. Each session will be clearly mapped out into four key tasks, starting off with the Six Bricks warm-up activity, which will last 10 minutes and kickstart the creativity at the beginning of each session. From there, you will follow the engineering design process with a task dedicated to each step, explore, create, and share. This structure is repeated every session, giving the children that familiarity to be comfortable and confident in their sessions. The final task is based around sharing what the teams have learnt. Each session, it switches between using the engineering notebooks to document their findings and ideas, and then also having a physical discussion around the Discover mat. Remember to check out the top tips, important outcomes, and key vocabulary for each session, as these will really help you to focus on the key areas of learning for your children. The final session is the celebration event, where parents, guardians, teachers, and friends are invited along to celebrate the team's achievements, find out what they've learned over the course of the program, and to see the team's final builds and creations. It can be delivered in your usual meeting space or anywhere with enough space for the teams to spread out, build and have loads of fun. This is where each child receives their Discover trophy and their certificate. So that's it. First Lego League Discover this masterpiece season. We hope you and your children have a fantastic time, create some incredible builds and become the engineers of the future.